Hi and welcome back. Cletus, Scotty, Bob's your uncle. Uh, okay, so today um, one of my beloved viewers asked about uh, asked for a recommendation for uh, one of these USB uh, power pack slash uh, gizmo chargers, uh, a USB solar charger, whatever. Um, so yeah, the deal is these things are mega mega popular these days. Uh, everyone's kind of going green and all this and. And that's good. Um, there are a few problems with uh, the most popular models, uh, not the least of which is that they are incredibly expensive for what you get. So I just want to do a quick little chat about um, my preferred USB charger and talk a, a little bit about some of the problems with the other ones. So, okay, so the first, the first type is, uh, this is not actually a, a solar USB charger. This is simply a USB power bank. It's got lithium ion cells inside, you've got USB ports, and basically you stick this sucker in, it takes about 11 hours to get to a full charge. This guy, you know, when I want to charge my phone, a USB cable, plug it into my phone, this guy will actually charge my phone um, about five times, a full charge, 2700 milliamp hours, five times. It's, it's hefty. It also weighs a metric ton. So um, one of the most popular types is something like this with a solar panel on it. And the big problem with these is that, number one, they're very expensive. They can be seventy, a hundred, a hundred and fifty dollars. And they're very popular. It's, they're not very good because when you have a solar panel that's this size, uh, when you look at the actual specs of these things, you can buy one that's slightly smaller than this. It's got the solar panel and it, it'll have like a battery capacity. Um, the one I'm thinking of is 10,000 milliamp hours. And then you look at the size of the solar panel, and then you look at the, the amount of current that's generated by the solar panel, and you quickly realize that uh, if they say, oh, well, it's got to, you know, you, you put it in, like, say, the sun, and it charges your batteries, and, oh, by the way, to fully charge the 10,000 milliamp hour battery pack will take 16 hours. So <laughs> you do a quick calculation, and you realize that that little solar panel is outputting a, a very small current, which is why it takes so long to charge the battery pack. And the other problem is that solar panels will actually output their maximum current only in preferably direct sunlight, because it's very, very bright, very intense light. Of course they're going to work indoors. They will work indoors in artificial light. But usually it has to be very, very bright indoor light in order for the panel to work at maximum efficiency and generate the maximum amount of juice to charge your gizmo. So this, this general type, uh, I know this doesn't have a solar panel, I don't have one, but that's why I didn't buy one, because they're not very good. So pretend this, is, this has a solar panel. That type, I don't buy. Um, in more ways than one. <laughs> um, the, uh, the other thing is that it's actually not a very well thought out idea because if you have lithium ion cells inside this thing, you don't want to put a solar panel on top and then stick it in the sun because batteries, especially lithium ion batteries and the electronics inside do not like sunlight. In fact, if you have like a cell phone or a tablet, one of the things you'll read in the instructions is do not put this in direct sunlight. Uh, so you don't want to put your battery pack or your phone or your tablet in direct sunlight. So. The, the very idea of having a battery pack with a solar panel on top that can only reach its maximum production capacity uh, in direct sunlight is kind of not very smart. Okay, so the second type is something like this. It's a little Voltcraft. This is a little bit, little bit older. Um, basically, the uh, you open this sucker up. You've got you know two little solar panels. Um, this one's okay. The thing is. It's okay if all you want to do is recharge like a little like MP3 player or something. The actual even even with with both of these these solar panels that size, right? Um, this guy is going to output a maximum of 250 milliamps. So if I have if I have say a, a 2700 milliamp hour phone battery, and this is only outputting 250 milliamps, less than one tenth of the capacity of my battery. Um, that means it's going to take approximately 11 hours for this guy in direct sunlight or in very, very, very bright light to fully charge the battery of my phone. That also kind of isn't going to do. 
um, I might want to use it. I mean, it's great because it's it's smaller and it's portable and it, you know. But it, it's it's like you're trading this very small size and 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 uh, sometimes lightweight, but you're not really getting anything from it because you can't just take it out on your lunch hour and plug it in and it's not going to charge the battery appreciably. So, it's it's not very useful. So the one that I recommend actually uh, is this guy, which is the big blue 28 watt solar charger. Um, he's it's very light. It's it's very large. Obviously, it does not fit easily into your pocket. It would fit well if you have a big purse. You could fit it in there, or throw it in your backpack or something. Um, when you unfold it, you get four ginormous solar panels. Now, you might think that that's a little bit crazy, but the 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 thing is that this guy outputs, according to the specs, five volts. 4.4 amps. That's 4,400 milliamp hours. And this guy, in, inside here, he has, there's a little box here, and it has uh, three USB ports. Um, one is rated at 2.4 amps, 2.4 amps, and 1 amp. Now, of course, it says the maximum it's going to output is only 4.4 amps, but if you divide that between the two high-capacity USB ports, you're charging at a 2,200 milliamp hour rate. So if I have a 2,700 milliamp hour battery, this guy in in direct sunlight would be capable of actually charging two of my cell phones at the actual full charging rate that I would get if I plugged in the AC charger in the in the power plug in the wall and stuck it in my phone if it's in direct sunlight if it's not in direct sunlight it's still going to work and it's still going to charge my phone very very quickly because this little dude he's so small that he can only output like you know 250 milliamps and even if he's, he's in super bright light, it's still going to take 11 hours to charge my battery. If it's not in super bright light, if it's just in like some daylight or a fluorescent tube above it, it's going to take way longer than 11 hours. So that's why I don't like the small ones. And plus, many of these small ones, including this type with the solar panel on top, these things are ridiculously expensive. Um, this guy is $52.00 which is much cheaper than many of these very popular ones that everyone are buying. There's also a version, this one has four solar panels. There's another version that's slightly lower power. It, it knocks off the third solar panel, so you, or fourth solar panel, so you only have three. Um, the difference in price is it's like $44 instead of this one is 52 I just went with this one, and I'm very happy with it because, yeah. Um, so that's kind of the deal. It's, it's you know, it's it's big and clunky, but you don't really get enough juice to make it worthwhile um, unless you have big, big solar panels. And it's it's still fairly handy because it's very lightweight and it folds up into a small space. They also give you these cool big blue carabiner clips. So like if you're going backpacking, you can clip it onto the back of your backpack and charge your phone while you're wandering through the wilderness. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> so... Um, <clears throat> yeah, there was one more thing I wanted to say, and I don't remember what it was. Um, blah, 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 yada, yada. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. Um, ah, I remember. This guy doesn't have a battery built in. He's just got USB ports. You put it in, in light, preferably direct sunlight, because then you can charge two or three big gizmos at the same time. But he doesn't have a battery pack. He's $52. This EC technology, 22,400 milliamp hour power bank, is, I think it's about $32 on Amazon.com. So basically for, you know, like 85 bucks, you get your USB power bank and a really, really good solar charger. You can use them together if you want. You can use them separate, whatever. Um, and you're paying less money than one of these uber fancy gizmos like this with the panel built in, and it's kind of a no-brainer. So, and again, if you don't like the big size of this and you want to go with a small one, you can, if, like, that's your cup of tea. Just be aware that when you have these very small things with even some of the, the, the smaller units like this where it folds open and has multiple panels, they still have relatively small charging currents as compared to this thing, because the larger the panels are, the more actual charging current you're going to get. So at this point, the technology is not really good enough where you should go with a really small one. Uh, at least I certainly don't think so. So 
So that's it. I recommend the Big Blue 28 watt solar charger. And if you want to get a get a USB power bank. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, right. Uh, click. Go to my website. Blah blah blah. You know. You know the drill. So, uh, thanks for watching.